Hey guys, so I'm finally getting a chance to uh, start doing uh, some work on the Massey Ferguson here, you know. Um, pretty cool old tractor. But the uh, problem I was having is with the backhoe. So I believe this is either a 52 or 54 series. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. There's not a lot of records or not a lot of information on these things online. I went to a whole bunch of different forums and everything else. But I believe this one's a 54. I could be wrong, but maybe that's uh, what it is. But what makes the, uh, the boom swing right or left, right in there, is what they call a rotary swing cylinder that sits in there. And uh, it's basically, it's a hydraulic cylinder, which I have sitting on the table over there. I'm going to show you guys. Um, pretty much parts for these, you know, for these hydraulic um, arms and, um, you know, things like that. Pretty, re pretty readily available but I looked high and low all over the internet and you know maybe I'm just gonna have to call a few companies or maybe even have uh, somebody make me a seal for it but so this is the uh, rotary cylinder here I've got the uh, lid off now Massey Ferguson used a couple of different ones um, this one in particular and the Cessna made ones the Cessna made ones were a little bit different they had like a cap lid like this on the top and one on the bottom that had bolts top and bottom this is just like a sealed little drum there's no there's no lid or anything that comes off the bottom um, it's all bolted from the top and uh, yeah you can see this is the seal that busted but you look down in here it has the identical seals on the bottom as well so you have a uh, on the lid you've got an outer seal and then the inner seal. This inner seal is what uh, basically takes up the space right in here so that, you know you can't get a pressure loss. The pressure builds up on one side and pushes against this um, this vein whatever you call it, arm and it actually turns it and that's what makes your boom swing left or right. When you have a spillage or pressure loss on one side because it's seeping across here and in the other side it just isn't going to turn back and forth. Here's the problem. So this particular one is a 1971 manufacturer. I'll show you the plate on this. So this is not the Cessna made one, but let's see here. So you can see here, it's the maker of this one. It's all the information. I took all that information and I typed it in and I've done every fucking search engine I can think of to find out who makes seals for this. Now, it's a three-piece uh, sealing deal here. You've got a, uh, looks like a, this is a spring, a wavy spring, which would actually, you know, push against this brass. This brass seal here sits in there like so. All right. Now, this nylon washer, or this nylon ring here, it's tapered. Let me try and focus here. It's tapered. Right, sharp edge taper and kind of flat on the bottom. The tapered part sits down with a flat part, like so. Obviously, this one broke, as you can see, but this is what fills that gap right here. And uh, that's my problem. The bottom one, like I said, I, I pulled the shaft out. It does come out, and I inspected the seals on the bottom on the other other end of the shaft, which looks just like this, just the bottom end. But um, that one has the splines on it. As you can see, and the splines sit in there, which everything's good, nice and sharp. Nothing's worn out. There was no loose fittings, nothing. I mean, it's in great shape. It's just this fucking seal. I need to find somebody who either makes these for replacement seals based on the tag on this thing. Um, again, this is not the Cessna made one, which seems to be more popular. Um, but uh, if not, maybe somebody can... 3d print nylon i don't know i can uh i can always pull the seal out from the bottom here because that's in good shape and uh, take some measurements and things or what have you but that's what the problem is with this one so like i said i'm trying to get this thing back together again and uh, i'm reaching out to anybody uh who has more knowledge about these tractors I've, I've never worked on something like this before i don't know anything about hydraulics that much other than what i can research and study up on and learn for myself you know 
these were all sheared off bolts, you know, so I have to, uh, <laughs> I have to get these out as well and then replace these bolts. All the heads broke off, but you know, essentially, so these were the only ones left, but I'll get this thing back up and running come hell or high water. Um, these appear to be some type of, uh, spring valves or something. So, and, uh. Right there is where the uh, hydraulic fluid would would enter into each separate chamber to pressurize one side to push it, you know, to the one side or the other. So, like I said, anybody knows anything about these things or where I can get uh, some gaskets like that, um, I'm, I'm in need of them. So, again, I'm reaching out. Uh, if somebody can uh, can hit me up, that'd be appreciated. Thanks, guys.